A poem is a city filled with streets and sewers, filled with saints, heroes, beggars, madmen, filled with banality and booze, filled with rain and thunder and periods of drought. A poem is a city at war. It's a barbershop filled with cynical drunks. A poem is a city. A poem is a nation. A poem is the world. Henry Chinaski. What made you leave the railroad? I don't see any future in the railroad. We got good unions, medical care, retirement. At my age, retirement might almost be considered superfluous. How do we know that you'll remain with us for any length of time? I might not. Why not? Henry Chinoski. It was Friday and we were paid right up to the hour. Thank you. You're welcome. We were given yellow envelopes with green bills exact. and exact change. Real money, not checks. Mr. Heathercliffe? Yeah. I want a hundred dollar raise. What? That's right. The truck driver got a raise. Yeah, well, he's been with us for two years. Look, I need a raise. We're paying you $400 a week now. And you want five? That's right. Do I get it or not? Look, we just can't do it. Then I quit. You... Chinaski! Hey, Chinaski. Yeah. I'm gonna have to let you go. Okay. Well, you're damn good, but you've been showing up at 10.30 for five or six days now. How do you think the other workers feel about that? They work an eight-hour shift. Well, that's all right. Don't worry about it. Listen, when I was a kid, I was a tough guy, too. Yeah, I'd show up to work with a black eye three or four times a month, but I got into the job every day. In time, I, I worked my way up. What's wrong? How come you can't get in here on time? I had a sudden hunch that I might save my job if I gave him the right answer. Well, I just got married. Oh, you know how it is. I'm on my honeymoon. In the morning, I start to get into my clothes. The sun is shining through the blinds.